There is so much to talk about. I don't even know where to start. First off, huge props to Neil and Austin for heading out there to that hill in such a short time frame and giving it a go, especially at 1% battery. Like, I am genuinely impressed and props to them. Why did I even do a hill test in the beginning? Well, when I saw on their website, One Wheel's website, that they were touting uphill climbing and increased torque, breezing up hills. Um, actually, what was the exact quote? So with the state of the art 113 volt powertrain, you can fly up hills and into the wind while enjoying added torque, power, and control of speed. Incredible hill climbing capability. No more, no more crawling your way up the climbs. Flowy high speed cars up even the steepest of hills is now a thing. This led me to have some pretty high expectations and it genuinely got me excited. Like, I wanted to see this in action. I figured any decent rider could be able to enjoy this. And I'm definitely not the best rider by any means, but I figured, you know, with a couple years under my belt, I can experience some of this uphill torque and compare it side to side with the other top boards in the industry now. I want to let everybody know I genuinely, wholeheartedly tried my best to make it up that hill with the GTS, along with my friend Eamon, his GTS that he actually wanted to do really well. Somehow on that day, when we were hitting that hill at that direct approach angle, and with it being more bumpy on the bottom, we were not able to make it more than around 25, 40% of that hill from a running start. It wasn't something that I was uh, trying to handicap or deliberately not make it up. Eamon, who loves his GTS, actually told me he wanted it to do as well or if not better than float wheel. He was trying his best as well. Definitely an open to trying different techniques, different lines for the next one. You may have to go from the side like what he did. At 1%, I'm not sure if the uh, Captain Morganing allows the nose to be lifted higher. So for more nose lift, that simulates ATR of S. Some questions that I have, but I'd love to find out. I'd love to test it out myself and redo this test again. So definitely, like I said, would put my hands up and acknowledge that uh, I could have, uh, I could improve on the hill climbing for GTS and, you know, ride it like how it's meant to be ridden, I guess. We would love to have the opportunity to redo this. I'm gonna link up with Eamon, get his board. I would love to invite Neil and Austin to meet up at that same exact spot so we can go at it with different approaches, switch boards, uh, have my vest boards there as well for side-by-side -side comparison. I think it's gonna be great. Could be called King of the Hill and we could see who is truly top dog for the sake of innovation and pushing each other to better heights. Competition is a good thing. I don't think I need to explain that. Obviously don't take everything I say as gospel. I don't think any of you really do. You know, definitely go out and try different boards, see how it fits for you. This is going to fire up the vest world as well. I'll be the first to raise my hands and say, maybe eventually the better board one day. Um, you know, I have to see it, I have to try it. And I would be, like I said, the first to share that. But so far, I haven't seen it, I haven't tried it, I haven't felt it. Uh, for me, the VESC world is the best boarding, one-wheel boarding experience for me. At the end of the day, if you're happy with what you got, that's all that matters. If you don't like the message that I have, that's totally cool, you know, then it's not relevant for you. Enjoy whatever board you want. I'm not telling you which one to get. I'm just trying to be as impartial as possible. I want to see the best board make it. I hold no uh, direct loyalty that I have to speak highly of this. Uh, just exactly what I feel and see in the performance is what I'm gonna share with you guys. To wrap this up, what do I think of the GTS so far from what I've ridden? To me, it's still not worth $3,200. That value is different for everybody. For way less than $3,200, uh, you can get a much more powerful board. All right, let me scratch that. For DIY and float wheel boards, you can have as much torque or more than a GTS and sustained speeds of 35 miles plus per hour 
and a range of anywhere between at least 25 to 35 miles around a cost of 1800 to $2,000. I just don't see the value in the $3,200 of a GTS at this moment. And that is my personal opinion. You guys take it how you like. That price and performance, if you don't wanna deal with assembly, you don't wanna deal with learning some aspects of VESC, then it absolutely could be the best value for you. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. I highly encourage that. But I just wanna make it clear that I don't have any sort of agenda that it has to be against future motion it must be for vesk for me right now for my four and a half years of riding vesk has been the most refreshing the most powerful the most easy to fix board that i have experienced so far this is what i can proudly support so i'd say bring on the challenge when i get back i'm actually in taiwan seeing my mom and family and my girlfriend Miri's coming over next week uh, for the Thanksgiving holiday. So um, I won't be able to do any follow-up tests yet. I even considered, man, should I just fly back real quick and hit that hill? And because uh, and, I'm genuinely curious uh, about, you know, taking a different line, uh, riding it slightly different. I will be back and setting up a rematch for this and getting more information. And uh, we go from there. We are fired up. Vesk has exciting things on the horizon. Fungineers has, you know, 300 amp controller to pair with the Superflux. Float wheel has Gen 2 electronics to handle more amperage so that the cannon core can output even more torque and power. So super exciting stuff coming and it's great to see that GTS is in that mix as well. So yeah, hey, maybe one day I will be on the GTS train. I have to see it, I have to feel it myself. Let's go, I'd be down with that. But so far, let's keep focusing on this, uh, this friendly competition and bring on the performance. Oh, hey, Ma. I what finish, you... I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> yes, yes, I finished. Are you team Vesk or One Wheel? Hmm, what time did I ride last time? You rode the Vesk. I showed you the Vesk. So, most. <laughs> Wurst! Wurst is cheers in German, ma. <laughs> Team Wurst, baby! Vest. Go, go, go! Vest! Vest! Or vest. Vesk. 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 Or yeah, vest. there you go. Do you even ride a one wheel before? What? Uh, what? Um, I don't know if it's a one wheel or vest. Or vest. <laughs> <laughs> Taiwanese expert, one wheel Vesk Vosk rider. But... Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, that's it, guys. I'm super excited to see what the future holds. Oh, and happy early Thanksgiving from Taiwan. Roast! <laughs> oh, I love my mom. <laughs> yes, 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 I'm done.